Hello everyone, this is Running on Empty Food Review. <clears throat> Happy Friday. It is Friday, Friday the 10th of June, 2016. Before we begin, you know, these last, these last few days have been, uh, have been really full of change in terms of the camera that we've been using. One day we used the old camera, and a lot of people were upset about it. We switched to the newer camera. A lot of people were saying to go back to the old camera. You know, at, at, at some moments, I lost my faith. I was a man standing, staring down into the abyss. No hope. No future. But then, something pulled me back. Something pulled me back from the edge of that abyss. Something made me proud to be here right now. Ladies and gentlemen, once in every ten generations, something rises up to lead a broken nation to victory. And it's sitting there, right now, right here. Ladies and gentlemen, we're using the old camera again to film this review. Now, it's probably the most anticlimactic ending to anything possible, but yes, it's what it is. All right, Taco Bell time. <clears throat> Taco Bell time. Uh, flatbread. Flatbread sandwiches from Taco Bell. They're back. They're $1.49 a piece. And according to their websites, it's available for $1.49. You can choose from steak or grilled chicken, which is unfolded in a warm flatbread, along with creamy chipotle sauce, and the three cheese blend. Um, they were introduced back in 2010. Um, 2011, taken away, now they're back, back here. All right, it's got a three cheese blend, Chipotle. Uh, we got steak, because that seems like what everyone wants, not really the chicken. So we just go with what the majority wants. So it's pretty simple, it's three cheese blend, Chipotle sauce, steak folded into a flatbread. I don't have high hopes for it, but let's eat. And, uh, Let's try this out. So it's the uh, flatbread sandwich in, in steak form from Taco Bell going in. One more bite. What does it taste like? <clears throat> you know, I was ready for Taco Bell to let me down. I was ready to just, you know, just frown in disgust and just tear him a new one. And it's not the greatest thing in the world, but it could be worse. It most surely, most definitely could be worse, this flatbread. When you eat it, you're really going to notice three things. Actually, four, but the fourth one is texturally. First and foremost, texture-wise, you bite in, and the uh, the flatbread itself is very floury, very flaky on the outside, but it is soft and chewy, and uh, offers you know that kind of flaky um, chewiness. You know, it's uh, it mostly just adds adds chewiness and kind of texture to the dish. All right. Now the fact of the matter is, we want to know how the steak tastes. We want to know how well it combines with the chipotle sauce and the cheese. My biggest concern was the cheese. 
I was worried that they would put on such a disproportionate amount that would drown out everything out, everything else out, and make it just a miserable, miserable flatbread sandwich and make it horrible tasting. This is fire sauce, by the way. The good news, however, is that they were... I'm shocked. To, at least to me, here, they put on a proportionate amount of cheese. Okay? It's noticeable. It's got this, uh, you know, this gooey ooze type of, you know, consistency. And uh, it, it, the, the cheese definitely tastes very cheap tasting. It's very like, uh, you know, it's like that real cheap canned cheese and liquid, you know, movie theater um, liquid cheese. It's, uh, it's disgusting. But they didn't smother it. At least on this one, they did not smother it. Okay? It's balanced out quite nicely, even just by the flatbread itself. And, uh, the steak itself isn't the greatest, um, you know, the steak, at least this time, they cooked it around its, its soft, pretty, uh, melt-in-your-mouth flavor. It, uh, you know, the steak itself is, uh, not really too salty nor spicy. It's, uh, just a neutral flavor in that regard. The thing that does gives it a, uh, gives it a good little kick to it is that chipotle sauce. It does have that good little tang and spice to it. Um, not too much on the spicy side, a little bit that you're gonna notice as an aftertaste. And that's really what kind of gives the, the steak its, its flavoring there. Um, overall, though, everything does blend together well, especially with the portion of the cheese that they put on it. Um, it's there, you know, but but definitely thanks to the chipotle sauce and the steak, it's able to salvage it and make it make it okay, at least. Now, this uh, this flatbread sandwich is just $1.49. It cost me $1.49. It should be $1.49 nationwide. And that's what it cost me, as I reiterate. And uh, that's a pretty good price. It is. It's uh, as I said, pretty, pretty decent price in that regard. And uh, I think it's it's worth it. You know, for what it is, it's not the greatest thing in the world, but it's cheap. Okay, it's cheap, and it's not horrible. And you know, FYI, if you think it's bad, um, you always got your good old friend, Mr. Fire Sauce, and uh, Fire Sauce usually makes everything better says on it same time tomorrow yeah whatever you say fire sauce same time tomorrow or, yeah you have a right tomorrow's tomorrow i'm getting pizza tomorrow i'm getting pizza i don't know does that mean I, it wants to to be on pizza i'm just killing time out of 10 ladies and gentlemen i'm going to be rating the flatbread sandwich from taco bell the uh, steak version I'm going to be giving it a 7.8 out of 10. Um, it is a little bit above average because I think they did do a good job balancing everything out. It could use some improvement, but for what it is, I think it's worth it, and I think it's an adequate product. Yep. Going short sleeves today, short sleeving it up. It was a warm day, and all the long sleeve shirts are in the wash and uh, or at another locale. So I said, well, we'll short sleeve it up, so that's what I'm doing. This is a uh, seldom worn shirt, so it's enjoying its... It's a moment of glory right now. And uh, without further ado, that's all that I have for you. 3.09 p.m., we're going to get this up ASAP, and that's all that I have for you. Take care. The report of the week concluded. I bet this appears like 20 minutes long, and no, it's okay.